just when you think you've eaten all the fast food in the South, we end up finding more. So today we're only eating fast food for 24 hours. First things first, Victor's Taco Shop. Let's go see what that's all about, come on. So the interesting thing about this place is it originated in Phoenix, Arizona, but they don't even have any locations out there. They moved completely to Tennessee, and there's only six of these. And some people claim that it's the most authentic Mexican food you can get here. I don't know about that, but we're gonna try it for breakfast. Victor's. Hey, Victor. Oh, wow, this oh, looks, it looks authentic. authentic. Okay. Right off the rip, it looks authentic. And they got a cool little drive through too. We'll show you guys after. So what's the best breakfast burrito you got? Good morning and a big breakfast. Okay, I'll do the um, the big breakfast. The big breakfast. And Jake's not a big breakfast guy, so he's just gonna try a bunch of tacos. So let's get a chicken taco, carne asada taco, a crispy taco. Crispy, ground beef or shredded beef? Shredded beef. Shredded beef is the best. Okay, yeah. we, ha we had the same thought. I Me thought that's a uh, shrimp one? Yeah, let's get a shrimp one too. What do you always do at a Mexican restaurant? Do you have horchata? Horchata. Okay. <laughs> horchata and jamaica. Let me get a horchata, okay. please. $25.84. Ever since I was a kid, I've loved horchata. So we're gonna do a taste test and let you guys know how fresh and authentic this horchata really is. But have you guys noticed my crew neck? F-U. No, not really F-U, but Foodie University. Pick something up at brennantaylor.com. We have awesome merch. Check out the hat. Let's taste this. All right, here goes nothing. Pretty good, a little powdery, giving you that ricey taste, that ricey feel. You know when you put rice in your hands and you get a little dusty. It's good horchata. I don't know if I would say it's like handmade or anything, homemade, but it's decent. Let's hope the tacos and the burrito are a little bit better. Right off the rip, I'm not even gonna do a bathroom review because there's no point to, but there's no soap in there. So I don't know how even the cooks are washing their damn hands. Oh, let's just hope they're wearing gloves. Okay, look, it's fast food. What can you expect? Hygiene? Hey, fool, comment down. They understand English too, so I'm in. Let's hope for the best, but expect the worst. Okay, that fool wasn't lying. There is no soap. It does tell you employees must wash their hands, but how? How? And what the hell is that? No sé. I need. Oh, oh, está bien. That's perfect. That's perfecto. Okay. Okay. So the food just got here. The burrito looks fat. I won't lie about that. Let's cut it up and let's see what's on the inside. You obviously don't know how to use your left hand. No huh? way. Full on right handed. All right. Let's see it. Oh. That actually looks pretty That looks promising. pretty fire. Oh, maybe they're known here for their breakfast burritos. We'll get into this in a second. We got ham, sausage, bacon in here, cheese, eggs. I'm gonna go with the red sauce. Jake's going oh, with the green. The, the, the green. Oh, excuse me. Wow. That's gas. That's a good breakfast. Burrito. Yeah. If this place wasn't 25 minutes away, I'd be I'd stopping come here by more for, often. for some brekkie. This breakfast burrito is phenomenal. It's a real great, nice wrap tortilla. A lot of the times we're eating at Mexican foods here, at Mexican restaurants, and they don't know how to wrap a burrito. Mm -hmm. This place knows how. It's secure, it's snug, it's packed with flavor. Their salsa's pretty good, too. Yeah, the red is good. Yeah, a lot of times we go in just watery salsas. The green is a little watery, but the red's way better. Mm. All this food for 25 bucks. I'm pleasantly surprised so far with just the burrito. Let's try these tacos. I'll try the crunchy taco. I'm gonna go in there for the OG. Squirt some lime in here and let's go for it. I'm going for the carne first. A little bit of guac, a little bit of tomato, onions. Go for it. I don't know what's in mine besides cheese, to be honest. Mm, that's a good nod. I'm gonna try this while he's chewing. Mm. Oh. Pretty good. I will say it's like an Americanized taco. Like it's not like actual carne asada, like marinated, but it's it's good. Either way, this taco is pretty good. I like that it is a, an actual corn tortilla that's wrapped up into a shell rather than one of those pre-made ones. The shredded beef is real tender, real nice. I'm gonna go for the shrimp taco next. I'm gonna go for the chicken. I don't know what kind of sauce this is. That's crema. Always a crema. Has some radishes in there. That one was good. All right, let me try this chicken one, okay? A lot of the times you go to these chicken and it's just not so great, but let's try this one. I feel like the chicken in Nashville is usually pretty like juicy out here. Like it is a nice double wrap tortilla. You know, it's definitely, they're putting a lot of meat in there, which is a good sign. But the guacamole is good. I want to try this shrimp camarone. Is there a lot of shrimp in there or not really? Yeah, you'll, you'll get a whole one in your mouth. I think that's the best one. All right, let me try. Oh, I can see the shrimp. It's busting out the seams. Mmm. Oh, no. Mm-hmm. Best one, hands down. The shrimp is plump, juicy. The crema is good. Look at the shrimp's popping out. By far, if you come here, breakfast burritos, shrimp taco. Mm. I bet a shrimp burrito would hit too here. I didn't even think about that. Mm -hmm. We should maybe order. <laughs> the burrito's so damn good. Yeah, that's really good. This is the one thing I'm coming back to. 
I came into this not expecting anything, uh-uh. and I'm leaving like pleasantly pretty surprised. Pretty satisfied. I'd probably drive this far for this. It might be cold by the time I get back, but you have to eat, have it, eat it here because it's good fresh. All right, you guys. So breakfast. Honestly, I'm super surprised and super happy with the outcome. Let's hope we have the day that continues with this great food. I'll see you guys at lunch, and we'll see what we find. Come on. It's lunchtime, and what we got behind us is Hugh Babies. This spot was born and bred here in Nashville, Tennessee, so let's go see what they're cooking up in the kitchen. Come on. Big shout out to them for having a kids section. You don't see a lot of places doing that no more, but here in Tennessee, they care about their kids. They're all about family. Let's go check this out. They even got the logo for wow. you. What, because a little pig? Yeah. I ain't a Oh, there's you. Oh, damn, what's up? It's like a it's little nice. diner up in here. I like this. Hey, how are you? Yeah, you look beautiful, <laughs> you don't look you great. worry. Don't you worry. How y'all doing? Good, good. What do I got to try here? I never had this in my life. Oh, that's good. What's like your staple? The burger. Okay. With, which burger? The mashed burger. Single, the double. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, I want that. I'll do that fat fat burger and then alright, what are you thinking, Jake? Give me a fried chicken sandwich. Let's also throw on one of them pickwick dogs. Look at me and my bro, we're here to do some food reviews. Can't you see the resemblance? It's the Taylor Bros. This is what Jake's gonna turn into living here in Tennessee. Cause that mo does not work out. Let's just hope my thing don't fall out. Well, tight crunch. Ugh. All right, let's give it the best go. Wee! All right, that was anticlimactic, but for a child, it could be fun. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> you seen the videos? Uh, all of them, yeah. Hell yeah, man. Appreciate you. What's your name? Wonder, man. Wonder? Wendell. 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 Nice to meet you, man. Can I take a picture with you? Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah, let's do it. This is Olivia? Yes, Olivia. Olivia, okay. So have you had Hugh Babies before? I have had Hugh Babies and before. And what is your thought process on it? I really like it. It's a good like um, fast food diner place. Okay. Good milkshakes and good fries. We I missed feel out like. on the milkshakes. So I like it. Okay. Well, that's good. That's our first time having it. So yeah. glad to know someone here is vouching for them. Yeah. All right. Right on. Great. We'll see how it tastes. <laughs> All right, y'all. The food just got here. A lot smaller than I was expecting. But then again, we got to think this is a fast food. They're small. They're quick. They're efficient. I don't know what that is. Oh, ha, ha. It smells like. Body odor. But that's what's all over the burgers. Is this their barbecue sauce? Let's that's taste it. Let's taste it. The scent smells like when you get into an Uber and it stank. It's ketchupy. It's like ketchup mayo. Ketchup mayo. It's ketchup, ketchup barbecue. Ketchup barbecue. It's ketchup barbecue. Mm, it is. Yeah. It tastes like barbecue sauce and ketchup mix. Let's jump into these things. I think the first thing I'm gonna try is this hot dog since Jake can't eat it. Oh, but it has a sauce. It's not ketchup. It's I a don't sauce. like it though. In this burger, right? I mean, ah, I lost uh, the pickle. <laughs> damn, that's gone for. So in this hot dog, we got jalapenos, we got uh, onions, we got uh, ketchup, Q. ketchup, Q, and we got the wiener and mustard. So let's go ahead and try these. I'm over here having a fried chicken. It's gonna be battered with pickles. It's gonna have some type of ranch mayo type of ordeal. I don't know. Let's oh, just dive into it. Oh, I got some cream with some young guy in there. Oh, let me know how he tastes. Is it a little Miss Piggy? <laughs> Mm. Real crispy. That's actually a pretty good hot dog. That barbecue sauce doesn't really taste like ketchup when it's on there. I think you need to try it. It's got this, the onions in there, which give it this like a little bit of a sweet taste, but then you get the spice. So you get sweet and spicy at the same time, which is always a great compliment to any kind of hot dog. The hot dog itself though, it's not grilled. It's more of like a boiled one. It's no snap. Pretty decent though. You took two damn bites. You better give me an answer. Oh, good. I got a white meat, crispy, crispy, oh, flaky shit. chicken. Mm. But when you bite into it, the amount of juice that comes out okay. of it makes me want to call my girl. What? The pickles over there, a little salty, a little crispy. The bun, the bun is so soft. I want to bring one back to Cowboy so he has a pillow to sleep on tonight. It's so damn good. All right, well, I'm gonna be working at this uh, this barbecue burger right here. This is what they're really known for here. This is like fast food barbecue spot, but also mixed with burgers. So this is the barbecue burger. We got pork and we got a smash burger on here. This is the definition of smashed burger right here. We haven't found a smash burger out here. This might be it. Let's see how it tastes mixed with their barbecue. Mmm, onions. Mmm. Oh, that's good. I feel like their barbecue though, like their pork is a little they dry. Need, they need barbecue. It needs there. way more of this, which is why it probably came out. I just wish it was classic barbecue sauce. 
I think as a burger, this would be fire. I don't know about mixed with this barbecue. Let me give it one more bite with all this sauce on it now. Yeah, their barbecue sauce isn't my favorite thing in the world, that's for sure. Or whatever that sauce is. And the, the pork on it, pretty dry. But the smash burger itself, fire. I want to give this a little bite before I, I demolish is it. Is it better than this one? It is really good. Not even a pickle left in sight, huh? You have a table pick. Oh, that's fire. It's <laughs> a good chicken sandwich. See, that's what they should be known for is their chicken sandwiches. This place is definitely interesting, seeing as it's born here in Nashville, Tennessee. I think it's a decent fast food place, to say the least. I'd come back for a chicken sandy. Or just a plain smash burger. But who knows what we got next, so uh, let's get on out of here and let's go find some more fast food. Come on. Do it. It's dinner time and we're gonna have Italian fast food. Never have I even heard of this food chain, but hey, I'm always down for a little fun. So let's get on in there and let's go see what we're having. I didn't even know Italian food could be fast. It's probably just like in a cafeteria bowl, you know? I guess we're gonna find out. Oh, it's like a full oh, wow. restaurant. With a drive-thru. With a drive-thru. Look at that pizza baked pasta. Oh, that oh, looks nice. We have to get one of those. And look at it. Sure. Life is better with breadsticks. You know what else is better? Life what? is better with some dude. You sick. They even have Cheesecake Factory cheesecake. Oh, That's a collab I that, never thought of. I, mean, I might need that. I might need that too. Only $4, too. I might need that right there. This right there. Can we do a slice of the pepperoni pizza? I want to get lasagna, the chicken fettuccine Alfredo, this pizza baked pasta, the meaty one. Oh, look at that pumpkin cheesecake. Get one of those. And then a pumpkin it. cheesecake. Anything else? That's all. Okay, you guys, so there's literally under 250 of these Fazoli franchise chains throughout the United States, and they're mainly on the eastern side of the U.S., with some being here in the south, but on the eastern coast. Anyways, one thing I want to point out about this fast food spot is, yes, it has a drive through but have you ever been to a fast food that gives you metal cutlery? It's giving me Olive Garden. Right, it's giving me, like, higher class fast food, but I like it. It also wasn't cheap. It also wasn't cheap, yeah, 40 bucks. We did get a lot of things, but the fact that there is a drive through it's like, they obviously got to be whipping this up quick so we'll set a timer and we'll let you guys know how long it takes for the food to come out. And this is Jake's bathroom review. Urinals over here. I feel like I'm like in a jail cell. Sinks are like crooked a little bit. Music is really loud but this big in-suite restroom I love it. Lock the door. There's no top or bottom which means they will not see your feet or they can't look through cracks. I love that. One more thing. <sighs> Smells cleaner in here than it does inside the restaurant, which is surprising. We love that. Absolutely love that. All right, y'all. It's 4.52. We called it at 4.49. That's three minutes. That's pretty intense. I don't know what's going on here with the kids' chicken dinosaur tenders on top of the pasta, but hey, man, it's fast food, okay? Deal with it. Let's check this out. So first things first, sniff. It smells, smells good. pretty good. This smells I'm like Domino's. Lie. Yeah, I mean, like, every, it came out looking right. The only thing that's a little suspect is this fettuccine over here, but let's get into what we want to try. Which one do you want to start with? I'm lasagna? Try this lasagna? All right, yeah. pass me a fork, my sir. I'm going to start with this one because this one looks pretty cool. The thing about lasagna, it could be hit or miss because if the noodles have been sitting for too right. long, they're going to be hard. But we're going to find out. This I'm one, going right in the middle. This supreme meaty one that I'm eating right here is literally a combination of their pasta and their pizza all in one. Cheese pulls good. Oh wow. Oh wow. Mm. Damn, I haven't had lasagna since I was a kid. Wow. That's this is real, real good. good. This would hit the spot. I mean, this plate alone that I'm eating right in front of me was nine dollars. Mm. Yeah, it was forty dollars for everything, but we got a good amount of food for forty dollars. Yeah, I'm for sure gonna finish this and I'm gonna be sitting on the toilet for all night. Mm. Look, that is good. It's layered with extra cheese, has like pizza cheese Oof. on top. Look at that. That's crazy. I don't know what that is. The mozzarella. Right, this one's really good because you get the great flavors of pizza all thrown into a pasta. This is something that like Papa John's tried to do when they did that in the box pizza thing and they completely failed. Here, this is amazing. Great pasta, great pepperonis, great cheese, great marinara sauce on top. Everything hits nice. You're swinging that fork like mom did in France when she bopped you in the head with it. It wasn't in France. It was at a Mexican restaurant and I was speaking badly, so she stabbed me in the head with a fork. Okay, my first job was at Olive Garden as a server and I had to make the breadsticks. These so you should know all about the breadsticks. These remind me oh of Oh my it. God, they're so soft. They're so soft. soft. I'm going in for I'm right going, from the middle. It has to have a garlic, garlic salt on top of it. 
Oh, oh my, my God. God. It's Olive Garden. This is amazing. I've never had Olive Garden, even though you worked there. I never went there. And if this is anything like that, then I love their breadsticks just like everyone else. That's amazing. I love this place. I'm coming back. Let me try the lasagna. Oh, wow. Mm, this place rocks. I wish I would have known about it sooner. This is better than Olive Garden. Every time we say, we don't have any more fast foods to hit out here. As we Jake and I explore one. more, we find another one and we decide we're making a part four. Mm. This place is something you need to get to. Look one up right now. If there's one in your area, swing by. This place is great. There's only 200, so the chances are low. I love lasagna. I never liked it as a kid, but I'll damn well now I will love say, it. this one kind of looks a little off to me. You're on a date, you want it to be cheap, but she wants to be fancy, bring her here. The Alfredo sauce doesn't taste like homemade. It tastes like out of a can. This chicken's really interesting. It like, kind of melts in your mouth. Really? I don't know. No good, no bueno. Try this. Did you try that one? I think this lasagna is the best one. Yeah, this lasagna and that one that you're about to eat right now are amazing. Mmm. Yeah, that's no bueno. Try that chicken, though. It's weird. That's something you can definitely order, like, if you were to just buy one of them Chef Boyardee type shit. Mmm. <laughs> Mm. Good flavoring on the chicken, not uh -huh. so juicy. It's definitely frozen before. Overall, so far, red sauce hit, hits it's here. Great. I'm gonna take a bite of this pizza. So the pizza's really good. You can tell that it was cooked nicely because the, the pepperonis are starting to cup mm -hmm. and they're also getting a little bit crusty, which I love. Oh, that had a good, it looks mm. like Little Caesars. Look at the nice dough to it. So a little bit doughy. Reminds me of Little but Caesars. Damn, good flavor. It's like a pretty basic type of pizza, but it's better than Little Caesars. Way better than Little Caesars. Out of the things we tried right now, what one would you go back to? And which one would you stick with? This lasagna has my heart. Yeah, and this pasta has mine. So all I gotta say, fire. But we're not done yet. We also got cheesecake, but I wanna finish this yeah, first. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna eat this and then we'll come back when the dessert comes. Just speed this up, because I'm not, I'm not getting up to cut it. I'm interested though. What do you think the rating on this place is? Like obviously if we were to rate it ourselves, it'd be five star, but what do you think it is? It's probably really low, because it's empty. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna say three five. Three five. I'm going to Yelp right now. Oh wow, that smells so good. Three, three star. Three point two. It's got a 3.2 rating, that's wild. I would have for sure given it five stars, but maybe we got lucky. Maybe this is like a fresh batch. I don't know. There's some type of caramel on top of it, caramel drizzle. It might be the pumpkin spice drizzle. Pump into it, I wanna see what it looks like. Mm, consistency looks good. All right, go for it. To die for or to lie for? Mm, I'm gonna finish this. Really? That's real good. All right, I don't really like sweets, but I'm digging in. Mm. It takes the pumpkin. Yeah, cheesecake is definitely my favorite. Oh type of pie dessert. And the pumpkin just makes me think of like, we're, we're in spooky season now, baby. Oh. We're in spooky season now. That is phenomenal. I think these pot, uh, these little pie cakes, whatever you call them, are coming directly from cheesecake. Well, yeah, that's the sign. So That's the obvious sign. You know that it's good when it's coming from cheesecake, right? But it also could have been sitting for a week and no one bought it, you know? I don't know, that tastes pretty damn good. Mm -hmm. Unless they just don't get bad. They're might... probably previously frozen. I don't know, dude, they're freaking delicious though. We gotta stop eating, Jake. We're definitely overloading. Let's get out of here. Still going. One more bite. No, come on. Put it down. Put it down. Come on. All right, you guys. Maybe we just came on a really good day or this place actually hits. Either way, there you have it. We did fast foods in the South for 24 hours. If you guys are loving this series, smash that thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Pick up merch, And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace.